What's going on everybody? This is Ransom. You already know who it is. Or do you? Come back with another reaction. And I'm back with another I I don't know why I did that. It is the connection. Anyway, so I'm back. I know it's been a while since I did a reaction. Probably the last Jedi was probably the last reaction video I did. But anyway, I was strolling. And I saw some video. Now, I already watched one of these videos. This one, I haven't watched yet. But to me, it was funny. The first one I watched was the parent smoking weed with the parent. But this time, it's like a joke. A rabbi, a priest, and an atheist smoke weed together. Like, you know how the joke goes. A rabbi, a priest, and an atheist walk, walk into a bar. That's, that's the joke. Anyway. Or... Anyway, so I wanted to uh, kind of do a reaction to this because I thought the other one was funny and I think this is probably going to be even more funnier. So without any further ado, you can find the link in the description down below. And if you already haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know, I'm trying to retire. I don't want to work for the people no more. I want to work for me. I don't want to work for them no more. Anyway, so let's get into the, the video. I guess that's the priest. That's the rabbi. You want me to do it again? One more copy, guys? Perfect. My name is Jim Morrell. I'm a rabbi. Oh, okay, I got it big backwards. Experience one of God's creations. I have smoked marijuana many years ago. I haven't done it for a while. I'm Chris Schuler. I'm an Episcopal priest. Never smoked it all that much. You lie! My name's Carlos Dillard. I'm a conservative homosexual atheist. I grew up Southern Baptist part of my life in foster care, and then I grew up part of my life adopted. I wonder did he Catholic, so this is gonna be really interesting. become an atheist because of what people told about uh, homosexuals. <laughs> I would say the majority of people who self-identify as Christians, they're probably not too down on nah, smoking marijuana. Not at all. There's no biblical precedent for this, really. Although, I have to say, I've known thousands of the Episcopalians, and plenty of them smoke dope. You call it weed now. You, like, smoking dope is like smoking, like, yeah. like dope. Like, okay. <laughs> like, we're we're talking dope. about weed here. Okay. Let me, let me change that to okay. weed. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I actually need some coaching. I, 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 I got you. I need put some of this in no, here. No, 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 no. You just kind of like want to crunch that all up. If it's like everything else in life, it won't take much for me to be like, you know, stoned mm -hmm. out of my gourd. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to be and a, and be a princess. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm on the coffee break now. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. My lungs are not used to smoke. Now that was impressive. Wait, you know. smoking with some priests and a rabbi. Check off my bucket list. That <laughs> word. I definitely feel a little something. He feels something. <laughs> just a little slower. A little slower. You just get a little bit slower. Yeah. I also feel burning right here. It's <laughs> impossible to hit, inhale. Oh, see, look, I, I'm I really like not that. used to the smoke. He's not a quitter. Take off for the team. You come through some challenges, right? You started off as a religious person. Oh yes, really religious. Really religious. Really religious. Catholic so what, school. What, what happened? I was 14 years old, and I bet my you. priest denied my confirmation. He actually said that the diocese excommunicated me for the church because I openly had these sex acts in our school, which I did. I'm like, okay, so I started doing more research on God and what is God, and no one can't deny that someone brilliant did this, well, but who, who did I don't it? know who did it. Personally, I, 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 can't de I can't depend on one person, and that kind of sounds insane. The truthfulness. Isn't it amazing? And the I just want to say, isn't it amazing that when people speak about God or that higher being, that is always some basis of truth or understanding that you would, no matter who it might be, there is always some basis of understanding, even, you know, if you have conflict with people, 
there are some bases of understanding that it's all it's amazing it's amazing how the ability of God is actually stronger than anything else in my life I mean it sounds corny but all the stories say the same thing when you boil all from all yeah, no I there's agree. no story science outdone all of those stories I, I believe in the real religion which was pretty much astrology and it was a way of humans of understanding and that's exactly what you're doing with religion you're trying to justify a way to understand well they are <laughs> why would God put me into the life I was in for so long don't, don't why question. are there 37 thousand kids dying every day that's not miraculous I'm really high sorry yeah you. that was really short. I took a really big I'm feeling a little something you are not alone <laughs> I like what you're saying but everything <coughs> that you say about who you are what your life is like what you do what you think hey, Baptist to me that pastor. speaks about a person of faith because you have a basic faith right. in the world and I agree with that do. and you might not Call that God, but there's something inside of you that really is a spiritual person. I can tell. I just met you, but I can love you because We're why? Because I see you. The Bible says, "When I see your face, I see the face of God." I like that. Jim, you've been holding that for a while. Yeah, light it. Yeah, light it up. <laughs> 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 the rabbi said, "Yeah, light it up." Work for all. Yo, he was smoking for a while. Look how he's holding it. Yeah. As all things true, knowing that we don't know all things. Yeah, that's good. You guys live in life outside Earth. If you look at the vastness of the universe, mathematically, there's no way that there aren't other creatures in this universe. I agree with you. Gotta be. Gotta be. Every religion has something coming out of the sky. Like, what's the obsession with the sky? I like this guy. I like this Carlos? guy. Too. I like you. Maybe, you know, maybe it's the beginning of a friendship, yeah. right? Yeah. I'd be your friend. I'm sure. everybody's friend. Yeah. <laughs> you like me. I don't mention any oil The anointing oil, as found in the book of Exodus, had some uh, qualities that would elevate the person. And there is a theory that one of those was oil from the hemp plant. Historically, many people who've had uh, mystical experiences, I think it's a very likely that they were under the influence of some uh, mind-altering substance. Do you think more people should smoke? More religious people? What I would definitely like to see are all the weed laws changed to be just about the same exact thing as what um, beer and liquor are. If it helps you become a better person, if it lifts you up, if it gives you something, a new view Yo, this life, is really a very positive thing. Cool God thing, made dirt, don't, don't hurt. God made weed, weed don't make you bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas today. Ash Wednesday, and the way many practice, they take ash and put a cross on the forehead. And we were talking about using the ash from uh, the weed. I'm okay with that because, you know, like, hey, I don't care. So, Carlos, mm -hmm. you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Oh, look, these ashes are like a cool blue. Come on, look at that. <laughs> he is stone! That came out all right, didn't it? Thanks, Chris. Okay, you want me to do this? I don't know any prayers. You just say your most loving thing. It'll be good. I just give out good vibes on these to you. Amen. And to everyone that you love. Do you want me to give you a blessing? Yes. Please. Give a rechach Adonai v'shmerecha. May God bless you and keep you. Yisa Adonai p'anai v'alech v'yisem l'cha shalom. May God lift up. God's spirit to you, and may God always surround you with shalom, with peace. Wow, that's Amen. crazy. I know that maybe <laughs> that, what happened to the priest? God doesn't have that much meaning, but I, it has meaning for me. So if you can accept the blessing from God. Sure, sure. God bless you. Look how God. we bring, bring people together. And may God always so I wonder, is that what they, bless you. I wonder, is that what the whole intention is to show how we bring people together? You know, because it's always the, the last word on each one of those videos I've watched, watched two so far. The last word on it is together on both of them. So is it is it really showing you? Like that really makes you think about when when the Indians, and I'm pretty sure the Indians were smoking some kind of marijuana. Probably wasn't all this sativa and indica that everybody 
talking about nowadays. But I'm pretty sure it was something. And then in that in the in the TPs when they used to have a peace pipe. Yeah, I believe it was something. And cuz it, it it definitely brought these three complete strangers polar opposites together to where they holding hands. You talking about Two people, two religions that definitely shun homosexuality, and both of them gave this man a blessing in peace. Not trying to say change his life or change his sexuality, but just in peace. Hence the peace pipe. I don't know, man. It has to be some. It has to be some basis of truth. It's a bla it's just, I'm just going on. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, Jim, when you said the word shalom, you gave me goosebumps. Okay. So. It's, it's a powerful word. That must be Shalom good. is a good word. I really enjoyed <laughs> being with you. I yeah, like you guys are really blessing. cool. The glow is happening. <laughs> <laughs> His paws are feeling fun. That would kill me. <laughs> I'd be coughing for the next week. <laughs> I'm like a macho thing, but I just don't have when it comes to dope. It's not that. dope. I mean, we. Yo, I think that was pretty good. Yo, y'all have to go check it out. I like this video. I like, I like it. No, not because it's we. I like it because it's bringing three different people. Like I said, polar opposites together. What other videos is doing that, man? You can't even get YouTubers together. Unless they in the team. Anyway. If you like that video, you can, you know, check the link in the description below. Look at some more. I just thought that would have been cool to just check it out. My reaction, live reaction to this. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You know, I'm not going to ask you to like, comment, share. I don't need all that right now <laughs> but just subscribe let's get this to let's get let's get the subscriber count up to 200 we hit 100 um on in in october i've been on youtube for 11 years and i just hit 100 subscribers and i am happy listen here we celebrate all growth and you should too you know so Please subscribe, tune in, stay connected, hit the bell so you know if I'm putting, I don't put up that much regularly. You know, I do have plans for um, shows because I'm going to take, I got to still do this because it's the basis, um, you know, but I'm going to treat my channel as if it was a network. I've always, um, I've always uh, uh, worked at television stations. I've always wanted to be a filmmaker. So I am pretty much going to treat my channel as if I was trying to go and work for somebody else's network. So coming January 1st, you're going to see new content that is uh, series driven. Yeah, you gonna still see the vlogs. You might catch catch some reactions. I don't know. It depends on what video it is. Um, you, pranks. You are gonna still see that, but you are gonna also see. And those will probably be like, you know, your little advertisements, your commercials. You know, but you are gonna get the. You are gonna get me. You know what I really want to present to you all. You know, and and I think that would be great content something that is consistent and something worth watching you understand what i'm saying so until the next time as always peace and blessings to you all and the best way to be blessed is to be a blessing thank you